Welcome. Today, we'll guide you through the concrete slump test procedure, a crucial step in ensuring the quality of concrete. First, gather the necessary equipment, a slump cone, base plate, tamping rod, and a measuring tape or ruler. Moisten the slump cone and base plate, ensuring there is no standing water before starting the test. Place the slump cone on the base plate and stand on the foot pieces to hold it securely in place. Fill the cone in three layers. For the first layer, fill to one-third of the cone's height and tamp the concrete 25 times. For the second layer, fill the cone until it is two-thirds full and tamp the concrete 25 times, penetrating the first layer. For the third layer, fill the cone to the top and tamp 25 times, ensuring the rod penetrates into the second layer. Strike off the surface using the tamping rod or a straight edge to level the concrete at the top of the cone. Carefully lift the cone vertically within 5 to 10 seconds, allowing the concrete to slump naturally. Measure the slump by placing the cone next to the slumped concrete and measuring the vertical distance from the top of the cone to the highest point of the slumped concrete. Interpret the slump. A true slump retains a conical shape. A shear slump indicates a harsh mix, and a collapsed slump indicates a wet mix. Thank you for watching. Understanding the slump test helps ensure the quality and workability of your concrete mix.